Good audio should be a priority for any content creator. However, most of the options on the market kind of make the experience a bit of a technical albatross in the sense that you have to manage large packs and of course make sure that you have enough batteries on hand. Now, Hollyland has developed the Lark 150 as a way to streamline the process and make it a lot easier to get really good audio. And I tested these units out on a couple shoots, so here are my two cents. For the sake of clarity and brevity, I'll be comparing the Lark 150 to my trusty Sennheiser EW100 G3 lav packs. These packs are now discontinued, replaced by the new Sennheiser EW112P G4s, but this EW100 pack has been an absolute workhorse for me over the past five years. The biggest stumbling block for shooter producers is that you have to do everything. You have to light, you have to operate the camera, you have to monitor sound. So basically it's ENG work, but where the expectation of quality is like considerably higher. When I first took hold of the Lark 150, I remarked how simple and compact this system was. Now compared to a product like the Sennheiser EW series packs, you do give up a lot of functionality in favor of ease of use. But for content creators, what you want is simplicity and reliability. Good audio without too much effort or expense. The first thing we're gonna look at is audio quality. Now, my Sennheiser pack here cost me around $600 at the time I bought it about five years ago, and that's just one transmitter and one receiver. So getting two transmitters for half the price seems like a really great deal, but of course, not a great deal if the audio sucks. Okay, so we're in a quiet space, which will allow us to test out the audio quality of these two microphones. I've got the Lark 150 here and the Sennheiser EW100s right here. And I'm gonna be reading a passage from this book. So they are talking, Truffaut and uh, Hitchcock are speaking about his film, North by Northwest, uh, in which Truffaut says, it seems to me that there were a lot of trick shots in that picture, a lot of them almost invisible, and also many special effects like miniatures and fake sets, to which Hitchcock responds, we had an exact copy made up of the United Nations lobby. You see, someone had used that setting for a film called The Glass. Okay, so now we're gonna try this again, but this time outside, and I'm reading from my favorite, as always, Andre Tarkovsky's Sculpting in Time. Here we go. The film's graphic realization. It is supremely important, and at the same time very hard, to make the set designer and cameraman into partners collaborators in your plan. It is essential that they should not be in any way mere functionaries. They have to participate as creative artists in their own right and be allowed to share in all your feelings and thoughts. What I discovered is that the audio quality is very comparable, certainly good enough for most vloggers or corporate shoots. The packs also have some great built-in features for improved audio. The transmitter features an anti-vibration design with intelligent noise cancellation and smart frequency selection using FHSS technology for a crisp, clear signal using the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. With surprisingly good audio for the price, we now turn to usability, which is one of the standout features of the Lark 150. Both transmitters and receiver come in a very well-built charging case. Now the case itself even has a battery for charging the packs when not near a power source. The transmitters auto pair with the receiver and they also operate as microphones themselves if you want to forego the lav cable. Like most wireless labs, whether it's entry level or so the bottom end of the pro line, you do get about 100 meters distance, but that is line of sight. And that becomes vitally important because the minute you turn a corner or you get inside of a vehicle, now all bets are sort of off. Now latency, however, is pretty good at about five milliseconds, which is on par with most pro models. The pack comes with two audio transmitters and accompanying microphones. The receiver lets you toggle between three settings. First being stereo, which places one mic on the left and the other on the right channel. Now for a single source, you can choose either a mono mix down or safe mode, which doubles the signal channel and places the second channel at minus six dB, protecting you from unexpected peaking. Now there are a couple of challenges that you might face with these little guys. And the dominant one being that you can't manually change the frequency, which means that if you're somewhere where you get interference, you might be out of luck or you're going to have to change your location. Another issue are the built-in batteries. Now, if you're a smartphone user, you already know that battery life does deplete over time. So you'll get 4.5 hours out of the packs and 7.5 hours out of the receiver right out of the box. But that will most definitely reduce over time. Now, I don't think that's going to go down by that much because you're not going to be using these packs nearly as much as you use your cell phone. So chances are you may not even really notice that battery depletion over time. But another thing to consider is while it's kind of a pain to have, you know, eight or 16 uh, AA batteries on hand for mic packs that take AA's. It's a bit of a saving grace as well because if anything happens with the battery, the battery is defective, we can just simply swap it out. Whereas with the Lark 150, you really can't. The final challenge you'll have, at least at the time of recording this video, is that you can only update firmware via PC. There is currently no Mac OS firmware option. 
I imagine that they are working on a Mac option, as most brands do. In conclusion, if you're looking for an easy to use, reliable and great sounding wireless audio solution and you are like a YouTuber, content creator, corporate video maker, then really the Lark 150 is an excellent, excellent product. If you're in a more demanding situation, I really do think that's the time to go up to more professional solutions. And that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and comment in the comment section below. For me, for now, I'm out, peace.